Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome to Frostpunk. So this is a society survival game from 11-bit studios. Now, uh, I've had my eye on this for a while, guys, and I'm very lucky to have an early copy of this game, and uh, I think it's released on the 24th of April, so not very long at all. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to get yourself a copy, then there's a link in the description. And just keep in mind, at this stage, I only have access to the uh, a new home scenario. I think there's going to be two more added in final launch. But yeah, if you do enjoy the video, guys, do leave a like rating. It lets me know that you want to see more. So let's begin, shall we? Uh, yeah, so I've played a few hours of this. Uh, just to know that I really, really do want to make a series on this. The art style is amazing. Right. So let me make sure the audio, everything's okay. I think we're good. Right, so it says at the bottom there, it's a preview build representing only part of the game, the main scenario. This is it, a new home. Uh, feel free to stream it. Well, here we go. <laughs> Done and done. Right, so let's just jump into it, shall we? So, uh, yeah, to preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world, and we'll have to adapt to survive who we, who will we become in the process. So I guess there's uh, loads of options on how you can rule. It's, uh, it says a society survival game, so it's a little bit like SimCity. Obviously, you play stuff down, you can manage people, people die, and how you treat them determines how they live. So yeah, I'm not going to customise anything, um, I have played a little bit so far, just to get the basics down, but obviously if uh, you guys know any tips or anything, then do leave them in the uh, comments down below. But yeah, let's do this. This is fun. It is really fun. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully it uh, runs fine. Everything's looking good. I've been wanting to play a game like this in a long time. I think it kind of reminds me of, um, was it Besieged? Okay, is it Besieged? Maybe I'm thinking of a different game, the one with the, uh, the town sim. How's it going, guys? Welcome. Hopefully, uh, it's going to load in. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Oh, I thought it messed up. <laughs> it did not. Uh, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst. Now that the world, as we know, no, it has crumbled. Alright, so yeah, post-apocalyptic world right here guys we have to survive let's do it Ooh. right fight the cold we need to get the generator working it provides heat and power to the other buildings without it will freeze to death stop pile some coal and start the generator okay so all can look very confusing at the start but we'll go through it together Right, so in the corner here I have 80 people, uh, 65 I think I have working with me because I have 15 children which we don't put to work yet, although you can later. So this is my generator, this gives out heat so it can uh, heat people around it, so I've got to like make some buildings, but it says some coal, so I'm just going to look around, uh, that's wood crates, ah, uh, give me some coal game, that's a bit far, that will do, right, so I'm going to put 15 people on it. You can put workers or engineers on it. I don't know what's the difference between workers and engineers. I have absolutely no idea. Probably you think engineers maybe work twice as fast. But obviously you can speed up time and slow down and stuff here. So at the top, coal. I've only got ten. I think you need five to turn this on. But then... Then what does it consume? Yeah, you need five to turn it on. But then I guess it'll tell me how much it's going to consume. So you can see my guys. Look at him. You can click on each one. Julia Scott out there, Andrew Porter, Paul Hayton. Probably really shouldn't get attached to these people because they they might not survive. But yeah, so you can see here we have 80 people homeless. I'm doing uh, I'm doing bad already, aren't I? <laughs> uh, what do we need? 10 wood. We've got that, so we can build three homes at the minute, which I'm probably gonna do. Yeah. So the heat disperses from the generator in a like a, a right a radial circumference so I'm just gonna put all these really close here so that's three hopefully that's a good idea we're out of wood no worries so we've got these wood piles here oh no it's a steel wreckage where's the wood pile there we go wood crates 
I'll put 15 people on that. And also some people on that. And maybe some engineers on the steel. I don't know if it makes a difference putting them there, but... Look at him go! Look at him go. Is the music okay, guys? Is the, the game music is really loud? Congratulations on the baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I guess we just have to wait a little bit. Oh, and you've got your discontent. Obviously, people are unhappy. The fact that they're homeless. And hope. So, obviously, you want to keep the discontent low and the hope uh, as high as you can. Um, we've got 100 raw food, but we need to turn it into food rations. Book of Laws. So, this is how we govern our people, guys. This is insane. This is like some Victorian shit right here. Okay. So, you can do loads of different stuff. So, I can make a fight arena. Look at the art style of this. It's just so cool. So, the fighting arena... Uh, nothing relieves tension better than watching a few rounds and an all-out slugfest. So obviously this is to, uh, I guess it makes people a bit warmer as well if they're going to be fighting. So, fighting arena, uh, evening bouts will reduce discontent. But, I think I'm going to go for... What was I? Uh, I can't remember. Look, this is the child labour. You can actually put children to work, because they're not at the minute. Radical treatment, uh... Emergency. This is what I'm going to do. Emergency shift. Just so people can work through the night. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. Okay, so it says uh, you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. That's good because they don't really click call at night. And if everyone's uh, sleeping, they're going to be called. So I need people to work. I'm sure they'd rather work. Sorry, guys. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Yeah? New law is signed. Look, 24 hours on the job? Insane. Work, work, work until you die. Yeah, buddy. You know the score. Right, I don't want to put this on just yet. I think all our tents here are built. That's our stockpile, so that's how much uh, we can store. Let's have a look at some other stuff we can make. So that's our people sorted. A medical post, we need 25 wood. I need a little bit more than that. Uh, I've only got 20 at the minute. Come on, get the crates. Uh, that's good. So that's on a cooldown. So we've got the food. The cookhouse. There we go. I need this because we need to transfer the raw food into food rations. And the cookhouse does that. So I might put the cookhouse... Uh, I think I'm going to put a row of tents around there. I'll put the cookhouse... Here. And then we can put some roads. And join in from here. I know it looks a bit crazy, guys, at the minute. But you will get used to it. I mean, I've only played for two hours. And I've already got the, the lay of the land. But this big thing here, this just radiates heat. I'll give you a little show. It tells... Oh, I've got 18 hours. In fact... There we go. So that's heating these, uh, this ring here. You can see it. It's very hard. But this extends out over time. And then, I think this, I can actually heat this on its own at some point. So it doesn't need to be close to this. But there's still a lot of people homeless. 50. But I'd rather them uh, have some food. How are we doing? We need to get our wood going. Because we need to start building a lot of things. Uh, they're on it. Wood crates. They're on the coal. There's another coal pile there. Some more wood crates. Okay, I've only got five people, but I might as well get them on it. Give them the Zuma special. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Imagine that. Uh, I might put the donation stuff thing just at the bottom there like that, guys. Let me know if it's in the way or anything. Hopefully it's not. Food and hunger. Don't worry, guys. Shit hits the fan continuously in this game. But then it gives you a chance to uh, get yourself out of it. Right. Come on. I've got 100 raw food here. People are going to be hungry. Uh, I might build some more tents just to uh, give them a little place to live. Uh, so I want some roads coming out of here, I think. But that's quite cool. There we go. Maybe two roads coming out. Two more. Our coal's looking good. Here we go. No roof over our heads. Housing problem. Captain, 
people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. So it actually gives me time to do some stuff. So I can rather provide some shelter. So I'll have two days to provide shelter for 25 people, which in bad because I've already built, uh, well, I'm building two more tents at the minute or I can provide shelter for everyone. Now that's, that might be a bit of a tall order. So I'm just gonna provide shelter for 25 people. So I might just build, I think they all 10 each, is it? Pretty sure, yep. Inhabitants, 10 people. So I will build one more tent. And then that should be that complete. Stockpile, uh, 200 coal is our mission. And then uh, it'll give us our next one. So we just need to wait a little bit, make sure people are on the coal. I might just rush the coal. There we go. I can do an emergency shift. I can make people wait 24 hours if need be. A word of advice. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Well, I'll bear that in mind. Alright, so you can see that minus 20 degrees Celsius, so everyone's freezing the tushy off at the minute. And this is the heat map. So as you can see, everyone in the little circle of the generator is nice and cozy at the minute. I thought that provided its own little, yeah, its own warmth. So there's no point in putting that on the inner circle. Uh, and the stockpile, livable. Everything's good so far, so I'm just going to build some more tents in this area, I think. And then all the manufacturing stuff you can have out here. You can actually build a place to store your dead bodies and stuff. It's It gets pretty brutal later on, guys. But look, no one, uh, well, everyone's working apart from the children, which we might put to work later. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> we'll see how we're doing. Well, I'm doing much better this time around, actually. I think I, someone died already. There we go. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their head. Oh, they're so easily pleased. We've still got 20 people homeless. But what can you do? Oh, here we go. So cookhouse, we need to add some people. Uh, I think, what shall I slow down on? Right, the wood crates. Oh, now we need the wood crates. Okay, I think uh, no one's going to be working now anyway because it's night time. Let's put five people there. There we go. So what the cookhouse does is it transforms the raw food into food rations. It says here, uh, four food rations from two raw foods. That's good, so it doubles my output. But then you need people, a hunter, like the hunter and gatherers. They actually go out at night. I don't think I can make them yet. I don't have enough wood. But yeah, so what I'm going to do, I think... Should we invoke it? They're going to have to... Look at my discontent. People are very content at the minute, so I can afford to make them work 24 hours on this. Come on, guys. Get your asses out of bed. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clarence. Archibald. Archibald Eggson. Oh, you are going places, Archibald. I'll keep an eye on you. Sorry, Claire. Charles. John. Come on, guys. You can do it. So, yeah, you can tilt and uh, rotate. Zoom in. Zoom out. Go on. I like how they make their own little trails. Go on. Go to the coal. Help the children. We still need to stockpile 200. Look at them. It's even cool when you see the hunters go out and then they come in on the morning and then all the rest of the people go to work. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're just in like a bit of a chill stage here, so I might fast forward time. Illness and healthcare, here we go, so we know the controls, uh, here we go, so everyone seems to be ill all the time in this game, guys. So sickness, it tells me how many people are sick at the bottom. The medical post, that's where people can be treated, that's where the gravely ill in the care house, gravely ill and amputees can live, and they only use half rations, so it's good. And that's when in the infirmary, the gravely ill can be cured safely. I've never even got one of them yet. That must be in the late game. But for the amputees people, guys, you can actually make prosthetics for them so you can put them back to work. How crazy is that? 
Now, as you can see with this game, it's it's polished. It's a very well polished game. So we still fast forward a little bit. We still need to get. Come on, I think we're just in a surplus here. My generator is pumping somehow, but I might just turn this off just for now. Oh, one person is sick. I'm going to shut it down because it's still only minus 20, and you do get a little bit of warmth from the generator. You can see a timer here. Of hopefully, there we go. That timer there it still means I'm getting a little bit of heat, but I'm not using any coal. So you can see I'm about to get to 200, which is fight the cold objective. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Alright, Chief, just calm down. I need some wood because I'm going to make like a, a medical outpost or whatever it's called. Are you guys on that? Food. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food. There'll be uh, no city if we starve to death. Secure way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay, so we're already on that. We're already way ahead of there. So we need to secure a raw food supply, so we need one of these hunting shelters, but I think I don't have enough uh, wood. Oh, I do. Well done. Okay, so hunting shelter? Should we put it next to the cookery thing? There we go. Put them next to each other. So these guys go out at night, collect the raw food, and you can see already we're turning the raw food into food rations for people to eat. Here we go. Words of advice. Work is needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this problem is to put our children to work. It is, it is quite a lot of people, actually. Here we go. But it's, it's not all bad, if you listen to this, right? There aren't enough hands to do all the work. We'll allow children to be employed in safe workplaces, like cookhouses or the hothouse. So all they're doing is, you know, just handing food to people. They're not exactly in machinery and getting their hands crunched and stuff like that so but actually this is the options guys so we can do the other one which is child shelter so we can uh, make them so new building child shelter will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day so I did this last time and people were really happy about it I don't think I put the children to work <sighs> uh, I don't know you know you know what, I might do a different thing, because I remember that. Child, child shelters, it's a really good thing and it gives you a hope. Permanent hope, I think. Yeah, provides a permanent hope bonus. That's too good, guys. It is very good to have that. So I'm going to do uh, the child shelter. Child, we're looking after the children here. A new law has passed. A new law has passed. Kids could do something useful during their time in the shelter. And what are they going to do all day? Watch the snowfall? People are very, well, the adults are very happy about that, and rightly so, probably. But let's take some people off the coal here, because our coal reserves are actually looking pretty good. I'll put that on at night time. Let's uh, get some wood. Put them on the wood crates. Uh, I've still got two people. What's this? Coal pile. We can put down, like, uh mining things and stuff. Frozen trees. Right. Is our tech tree coming up yet? Oh no. Not yet. We need to build a... What is this? Tech. We need to build a workshop, I think. Right. Medical post. We still haven't got one of them, so we will do that. Uh, where should we put this? Alright. This is our second layer. It annoys me that those buildings are different sizes. Um trying to think. I don't want to put it on the inside. I'm just going to put it here. It'll do for now. So is that saying that there's no road there? So we can put a road going around? Like that? There we go. So hopefully everything is good. Two people still need to be put to work. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. If you want to know where to get this, search Frostpunk on Steam, guys. Wood crates, there we go. Let's add some more people to that. 254 coal, this is good. So, everything's actually alright so far. We've just got some homeless people. One person's sick, but hopefully when I make the medical post, everything should be okay. I might make another tent. In fact, I tell a lie. Let's build the child shelter, I think. 
this heats itself. Next to the cookhouse. Let's do it. It's the same size as that. That's good. There we go. Alright. Okay. Oh, I can't turn it back on. Heating is off. Um. Why can't I turn that back? Oh, there we go. That's pressing the wrong one. It's back on for a bit. Make people uh, a little bit more happy there. Right, should we fast forward? Get everything built. Under construction. And do you know why that is? Let me just pause it. I need some people free. Uh, did we put any people on the steel? We put 15 people on this. We put 15 engineers on the steel. Ah. Okay. Uh, more wood supply, please. Steel. There we go. Eight engineers on the wood crates. Oh, two on there, I guess. There we go. Steel we don't really need at the minute. Yeah, this game is released in four days, guys. Is it four? Yep, four days. Time to rest, folks. Works out today. Ooh. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from, from our exp expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay. So that's quite cool. It's like a, a beacon. It's a, like a weather balloon, it looks like. Still, people are homeless. Like, I thought you'd be able to upgrade the tents, but yeah, I think uh, we get like a bunkhouse later. But that's okay for now. Coal still looking very good. Uh, what's wrong with this? The cookhouse is closed. Right. Hunter's hut. We need people. It's night time. I need to just pause it a second. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to take people off the steel. Because at night time is when the hunters go out. The coal I need going. Um, our wood's actually looking pretty good now. I might just put that down. Uh, no workers. Should be seven free, it says in the corner there. Right there. Oh, don't give me this. Oh, no. Come on. Put some engineers in the medical post. There we go. That, that sick guy that was there is gone. But why aren't my workers free? I thought I'd made some free. Um, That's engineers. Oh, I had two engineers. Okay. Uh, wood crates. There we go. Yee. Five people go out hunting. We're actually pretty good for food at the minute. Uh, right. Another tent, I think. Or a couple. Right. Let's make a workshop, shall we? Because we need some tech. Uh, I don't want to block the road. In fact, should we make another road coming out for our tech stuff? That's going down there like that. That's going to be pretty cool. There. I think the tech shops. Do they have to run heat? I can't remember. Yeah, guys, this will be going live after, so do not worry. I think I might put these a little bit further away, you know. Is that too. There we go. Just because I feel like I might want more houses. When this goes to a second space, I don't want to be uh, heating that, I don't think. I want all houses on the second layer. Hunters. Hunters going out. Hunters hook. Yeah, they work from 6 at night till 8 in the morning. But I really want this beacon. Oh, we've got people ill. Come on. 
Everything's good so far. So once these two are built, that should be no one homeless. Build a walk, uh, workshop on that. Rescue survivors of our lost expedition. So we'll talk about that after, guys. The automatons look awesome. Yeah, we'll get to that later as well. I think... I don't know if that'll be in this episode. Will be soon. Alright. Ten people. This should be fixed, and then that should be nobody homeless. Man, so much easier playing through a second time. <laughs> this goes down to like minus 40 though, on me one point, so... This is nothing yet. This is nothing. Still don't know what the steam cars are for. We can introduce a new law. Here we go. So I'm not really bothered about my discontent and stuff yet because uh, it's a bit early in the game for that. I don't want to worry about the corpses. Uh, this is one thing that could be good. Sustaining life. It's actually stopping people. Radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. The, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. And what's the other side? Uh, the gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated in medical posts. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound too good. Um, sustain life. Radical treatment. I feel like urgency is the key. You can't mess around in this frozen wasteland, can you? Radical treatment. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical post will be left as amputees. It's okay, I'm gonna get new limbs for you all. Radical treatment it is. Listen everyone, new law is signed. Okay. New law. At least we'll be saving lives. I just hope they won't cut my leg off if I fall ill. <laughs> Ah, uh, no promises, buddy, but I'll do my best to get you a new leg. Alright. Alright, everyone's sleeping, so we're probably going to fast forward this. And my coal's going down slightly. I want this workshop done. Come on. Yeah, you can break an automaton down for steam cars. So I imagine, yeah, that's what it is to build one. But I haven't built one yet. Are we good? We'll do it till about... 7, 8 in the morning. There we go. 8 in the morning. Research. Time to get to work. Right, where are my engineers? Uh, I've got 10 on there. 5 in there. Okay. Take 5 off. Put them in the workshop. Here we go. We've got our technology tree. Okay. So, first thing I might do... Yep. Let's go for it. Just because searching around this area is so good. So I want to start doing some expeditions. Make a scout party. So we're going to make a beacon. So as you can see there, it's like a weather balloon. Um, allow us to build a beacon. Uh, allow us to send scouts to search the wilderness for goods and survivors and bring them to our city. Lookouts will also spot incoming groups of people. So this is how you get new survivors, guys. And more importantly, new engineers as well. So we'll start that. Alright, everything seems to be going good. Uh, we've got a bit of food there. Coal's good. Coal is the main thing and then the wooden is to build. Oh, we can research. This is just the workshop. Different types of workshop. Yep, I'll show you all that soon. Uh, everything's good. Building the beacon and then we've got to go and do an expedition. So we just work up on gathering some resources and maybe build a couple of new stuff. Um, gathering post is okay, it just means that they don't have to come all the way back. But I'd rather wait until we actually can make a, uh, a coal mining thing. Yeah, they're okay just going out at the minute. Everything's nice and spread out. That's connected or I don't think anyone could have gone in there. Alright, I might put a rush on this. Well, allow the engineers to work through the day. Or through the night, sorry. How's it going, Hadster? Thank you for joining me, guys. Hope you're enjoying this. 
It's very early days yet, but uh, it is fun. Coal pile depleted. Where was that? Was that here? This no. Oh, three, that's wood crates. Oh, it was over there. There we go. No coal, no worries. You can uh, just go on that one. Right next to it, guys. Wood crates depleted as well. We can't really get any... Yeah, we need a sawmill for those trees over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Okay, we'll do what we can. A note of thanks. We just wanted to say thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world you're creating, we can see things will be different. I was contemplating on putting the kids to work, but I don't know, I'm a better side. Got hold of me, I guess. But look at that. This is why permanent modifiers, every kid has a place in the child shelter. That's a permanent bit of hope right there, so it was too good to pass up. I think anything that's permanent, I'm just going to go for it. One emergency shift. They're still pissed off that I got them to work 24 hours a while ago now. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong with this? Cookhouse? Oh, because we've got no raw food. Oh, yeah, we have. Alright, if no one's... I think I might be having too many people to work in there. How's this doing? Yeah, let's get more people on the call. Right, you know what? This is just going to be a circle. A lovely circle of tents. All nice and cosy around here. Alright, hunters. Oh, we'll have... Get some more people hunting the raw food. Alright, technology tree's nearly done. Should we have a little bit of a fast forward? Oh, wait, I've got 17 people free. I did not realise. What should we get them on? Coal's actually looking pretty good. Give me... Where's the wood crates? That can't be it. Steel. What's this? Let me turn this. There we go. Right, let's get them on there. I'll get my sawmill soon, so we won't have to worry about picking these wood crates up. I think they're just there for the temporary boosts of wood. Are we good? Add new research, so we just got the beacon. But we can do our next upgrade on the technology tree, so what should we do? Um, faster gathering could be good. The coal thumper's good. Uh... You know what, coal is quite important. I think I might just do the upgrade. No, we'll go faster gathering and then we'll just go to the drawing board one which unlocks this level of the tech tree. Then we'll go straight for the coal mining. Yeah, faster gathering. Awesome, let's do that. So we've got a surplus of houses at the minute. Have we built the beacon? Where's the beacon? I'm sure we just got it. Right, wait a minute. I have to put it somewhere then, I imagine. There it is. Where should we stick this? Uh, doesn't really do much. I might put it out in the middle of nowhere. Let's right, see if I can carry this road on. There we go. I won't go there, no way. I wouldn't have done anyway, I think the road's blocking it. Right, screw it, that will do. Alright. Workshop. Beacon. Get on it, people. Let's fast forward. Our coal's really good. I can't believe I'm doing this well. Oh, am I fast forwarding too much? No! No! You're actually attached to a road. Yet yeah, you are now. 
Oh, they're still constructing it. That's good. Uh, hunters should be leaving. The shift has just started. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I like watching the hunters leave. Can you see him? Oh, come on, where are you guys? Wood crates. Huh. My hunters have gone. They must have gone already. Oh no, there they are, there they are. Hunter's Hut. Edwin. Who's the leader? Lenora Ward. Oh, she's got a kid. He's in the child shelter, he's doing okay. Go on, guys. I appreciate you. Nathaniel, you're a hero. Alright. Let's fast forward these guys up, shall we? Is that still not attached to a road? I thought it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Uh, are you going to build a road, dude? Go on. Yay! Beacon built. We're no longer lost and blind. Okay. From now on... Our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surrounded us, the Frostland. Okay, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Should I put it on that? We are out of here. Well, we're not out of here. We get to survey the land and we get to see what riches await us. Okay, so we have two things that the beacon has found. The lost expedition, numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be the lost members from our expedition. So we can go and find our people. Observatory. Uh, this peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory the Royal Society built to investigate the eternal winter. There's smoke over it. So can we ever send people to the observatory? Or the Lost Expedition. And can I just say, these must be randomised because this is the first time I've actually had the observatory, so... That is pretty cool. So I imagine your missions might be different, but the Lost Expedition, you can see at the bottom there, is what we need to do. So, might as well do that first. So, you click on... Have I created a group yet? I have not. So, I need uh, five people free, so... I think I might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, let's fast forward it. Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, ready to search. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the sea. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. Uh, the woman who came forward earlier is among them, so she wanted to find uh, a child and a husband, right? So, she's all happy now. We needed a win. Hell oh, yeah. Right, let's get this fast forward in. Come on. In fact, we've got two people free there. I only need three more. Come on. How's it going, Black Minister? We okay? We okay? Uh, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Six o'clock. We're doing fine, all things considered. What you you would Little belief. Little belief. Ew, oh Here we go. Things uh just got doubly this cold. But what you can do on these Oh the metal post has stopped working unless it gets some heat. But let's have a look here. Is there anything I can do for heat? I don't think I think heat's only on the tech tree. Care house, cemetery, we'd have to worry about that. Medic apprentices. Education is the key for our future. Let's teach our children medicine so they can help with the sick. Education is the key. Yeah. Uh, child shelters will help at workshops speeding up research. 
you know what, I think the research is going to come, but people always get sick all the time. So I think I need them helping out. Man, look at that. Look at the artwork. Honestly, blown away by this. It's got to be medic. Children will learn medicine in shelters to help with the sick. Awesome. Right, so nothing's going to work at the minute, I think, because it's too cold. Everything's good in that circle, but now these can no longer sustain themselves. Yep, it's minus two from the weather, and people are more prone to getting sick as well. So what I need is some heat pipes. Where are they? These little things here. Oh no, went there. the heaters are good as well. Yep, I need to do the heaters. Okay. That's what we'll do next. But the cookhouse isn't working and the medical post isn't looking too good at the minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Luckily, no one's ill. That is very lucky, but we need some people uh, to send on an expedition, don't we? Wood crates. Wood is looking good so far. I'll steal two people from there and we need one more. And might steal a person from there. Here we go. So we can create a group now. Scouts needed to create 40 wood. We've got that and five workers. Let's create a scouting group. And we said we're going to send them over to... Oh, send that group. To the Lost Expedition. It's going to take 11 hours to get there. Okay. Scouts have been sent. Alright, I just need this to hurry up. And I'm hoping that no one gets sick because my medical post is not working. People are okay for food at the minute. Coal's looking good. Everybody's working. Let's speed time up. Let's do it. Alright, 99. There we go. Faster gathering researched. Awesome. Now let me get these steam hubs. The steam hubs, you can place them down to heat an area. But then the heaters... Is it in work? Is it just... Yeah, it's heat workplaces. So I think that's going to be good for... Uh, that counts as the medical bay, right? I know it counts for the cookhouse. Now let's do that. I think that's going to be better. There's like a button there that I can click and it cost me more coal, but at least I can heat places up individually, which is what these need. So we need to uh, speed this up. I think everything's good now. We're just waiting seven hours for the uh, convoy thing. What's it called? Convoy? What's it called? Just the group. But we're going to be rescuing people anyway. Alright, let's speed it up. Oh, maybe not. Let's pause. Okay. Frostbite! One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. I see. Yep, I see your frostbite. <laughs> keep working. Too gravely sick. Oh, come on. They aren't going to survive, are they? Right. The coal. Right. Coal. Stop it for now. Stop it for now. Come on in. Come on in. Can I... Select you? Where are you? You working? You're in the tent. Oh, you, you are home anyway. Raymond? You're both in the tent. Alright. Never mind then. I thought they were still working out there with frostbite. The gravely. Oh, we might have our first death here, guys. Just because my medical bear. It's inoperative. Sorry. But if you can hold out for 85 more percent. I have to speed it up quickly. Oh, is that three people? Three gravely ill. Right, is there anything I can stick down to heat this up? I don't think there is. Not at the minute. Oh, wait. Oh, it's day six. 
the temperature will rise, so it'll go back to 20. Four people are gravely ill. Five people. Oh. You know what? I might have to put another one. I might have to destroy one of these. I don't even know if it's going to make it in time. 69%. <laughs> Screw it. Someone's going to die. Eight people. Whoa, where's my... It's stopping, it's stopping. Scouts have reached the lost expedition, but the technology thing didn't go up. Right, sorry guys. 24 hour shift. Get going. Keep researching. Eight grave. I've never had the gravely ones before. Alright, let's see what these have got. The lost expedition. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Yes. Sir. A happy reunion. We enter the camp appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us! We've been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. So we began to starve. Children adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Sights discovered. So this is some extra. We got to this place and we looked out on the horizon and we found a crash site and a sturdy shelter. So we can either escort the survivors to the city or we can send survivors to the sea. And he's got an exclamation point there, because if, uh, if we send them, they don't know the way, so some of them may die. But as you can see there, we have four workers, ten engineers, and... Oh no, sorry, four children, ten engineers, and twenty-two workers. So, we're going to escort them back. Safe and sound, and it will take five hours twenty-four for him to get back here. I think we might have lost our first person by then. 78. I'm going to fast forward it just a little bit. I need these heaters to come on. I need this medical bear. Come on. Heaters researched. Pause, pause, pause. The heater. Turn the heater on. I'll turn the heater on you as well. Right. Get in the medical bear, guys. Go. So we've gone down to three now. You know what? I should have done this before. Should make a second one. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the medical post. Alright, we'll put two medical posts next to each other. Still got some uh, gravely sick people here. That's good. That's okay. Next thing we're going to research is... I think we might go up. Sawmill will be handy. But... In fact, it actually will be. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We'll do that first. No point in going up if we still need to uh, research some stuff on the tech tree that we have. Or the tech line. That's three hours until we get some new people. So, how much space do I actually have for people? I'm gonna need more houses. Uh, should we have like a, a little district? A housing district? Because then I can plonk a heater in the middle of them. One of those steam heaters. Alright. I think I'll, let's just pl well, fast. Well, not fast forward, but we'll just play normally. Um, that's going off there. That's going off there. I feel like one going off here. Fair. Is that right? Four, four. And I'll do. There we go. I'm planning my next little district. All right. I think everything's good. I only need the workshop people to work for about another, another two hours, but they're going to work 200, uh, 24 hours. In fact, I kind of bought it, right? Oh no, wait a minute. I thought I could stop, but I can't. Oh well, you keep on working then. <gasps> oh no. I was building a medical post for you. Is it someone here? Did I work him to death? First death. 
One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the body. Who was it? I can find out who it is. We have to wait 16 hours. Just plunk them in the snow, guys. Who was it? Who was it? One of our people died on day five from our arrival. One of our people died. Work accident. Jack Delamere. An engine. An engineer? Jake. Not Jack. Sorry, Jack. Rest in, rest in peace, buddy. My engineer couldn't handle the 24 hours. But you know what, Jake? You saved a lot of people in your research. You know that, man. You saved a lot of people. I think you might have saved maybe seven people there. Hold well on, Jake. Never be forgotten, man. Right, 20 minutes until these people come back with some fl uh, fresh blood. Although, not to put Jake down or anything, but we need more people. Here we go. Scouts have returned. 22 workers, 10 engineers, and 4 children. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into the frostland. We're going back out there. We're going back out. Hey, they're coming back. Welcome. People from our convoy, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Hey. Look at the warm embrace. Sorry, Jake. Can I find out if he has a family? We will look for the others. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. The scout's waiting. So, we can rather send them to a sturdy shelter, the crash site, or the observatory. The crash site. Several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They are probably our machines, let's hope so. We've had to leave a number of supplies in them after the crash, or sturdy shelter. A bulky cylindrical construction stands out on a small hill. The Union Jack flies over it, but there's no signs of movement. The Union Jack. All right, let's go and see what this Union Jack's all about. 21 hours for him to get there. Wow. Death of overwork. One of our people died suddenly during an emergency shift. We don't know what happened, but it's likely it was a heart attack. Oh. He died of a, Jake died of a heart attack. I don't want to know more information about Jake, okay? My heart can't take it. End emergency shift for today. Yeah, I wanted to end that 24 hour thing anyway. And he saw me click over the workshop, right? I wanted to end it. I only needed it to finish off those heaters for the workhouses. Guys, go home. Be with your family. Just, just love them and hold them. Search for others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Yeah. Find other settlements. I think that's where they're going to be going. I think the Union Jack flag there. Oh, yeah, we got 15 people homeless. I think I was making my own little district over here. If these guys would hurry up, then we can get to it. All right. There are the hunters coming back. It uh, looks like it. All right. Uh, but that people. Now, I shouldn't really build this here. Cause I don't think. Yeah, you know, the tents don't count as a workplace, obviously. So I should really wait until the steampunk thing come in. The uh, steam heaters. This is what I need. The steam hub. So when powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones. So the mini generators that, that I could put in the middle of a district. I overworked Jake, you monster. 
don't say it. It wasn't my fault, it was a heart attack, okay? It was, it was an old man, I think. We still need to get rid of the body. Where have they put Jake? Like blowing on a whistle now. Where's Kate Winslet, huh? Rose. There we go. Look at me knowing shit. Go on, hunters. Well done. Is the cookhouse not working? What? There's only one person on it. Alright. I'm going to put that to the max. Get people working in there. Uh, put the heating on the medical post. And then we get some engineers in there. There we go. That's got a take care of the four people that are sick and now we just need to take care of people who are cold. So I'm going to build these tents in the district. Uh, to put like a little gap. I don't want everything all clustered. I want it I don't know, to look kind of nice but I feel like the further we go away from the generator it's going to mess up so I'm going to have to Alright. There we go. New little district's coming off that. Get to work! Yes. Oh, there we go. The cooks are turning the, the hunter's food, the raw rations, into normal food rations. Alright, we're low on the wood. Uh, can we create the sawmill yet? No. 50% off? Come on. Oh, yep. Get one more. Uh, engineer in there to take Jake's place. You can just imagine him in there now, can't you? Like, welcome, new engineer guy. What happened to the last guy? Oh, no, we don't. We don't talk about that. You know, Jake, he was old. You know what? I have the coal. Be warm, guys. Be warm. You guys are the lifeblood in my in my technology force. You can be warm. What's wrong with this cookhouse? Why is it stopped functioning? Because we don't have the f raw food. Okay. No point wasting people in there. Um, so I have 26 people just messing around right now, not doing anything. Uh, the steel's there. Where's all the, the wood place? Ah, oh, they've got wood crates. Oh, they've already got them. Coal pile. Right, I need this sawmill. 80%. You know what? We'll wait then. We'll wait. Because we're going to get the sawmill very soon. There we go. Done. Right. Give me the steam hubs. I want to create my own little districts. They've got to be cold in there. They're not even in the zone. Don't worry. I'm going to get you a little heating pod. Right. Six hours until we can make a cemetery. So, yeah, so we can rather make a cemetery or a corpse disposal, which is a snow pit. But this is the craziest thing, right? Listen to this. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. What the fuck? <laughs> What are they going to do with frozen bodies? That's what I want to know. This is why I'm picking the snow pit. I mean, cemeteries all, you know, good and all. No risk of disease or anything like that. But, oh, same on this as well. But bodies are preserved for future use. Corpse. Yep, we're building the snow pit. I want to know what they're going to be doing with the bodies. So, let's make a sawmill. Resources, sawmill, making me cover the most. Oh, actually, he wants me to put it there. Do I like that though? I'm gonna be a rebel. Oh, have I, have I messed that up? Oh no, that's actually all right there. That's the most. Yeah, that is covering a lot of the green. That's where we're doing it. Uh, I was going to get one. In fact, I can just make a straight line going from there all the way down. 
Alright. We're doing good. Get people on the wood crates. We've still got 16 people to put to use. Uh, steel's looking pretty low. There we go. I don't know if having two workshops, will that speed stuff up? I wonder if it will. If I have the resources, I'm going to make a second workshop. Jake's making snow angels in Valhalla. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Maybe. Always remember Jake. Wood crates depleted. Okay, so we've got... Uh, don't know where that was. But it doesn't matter. We've still got 16 people. I need to start putting everyone to work. Everyone's wasted. I'll just go for these. There we go. And then put another person in there, but... Heater is on. We ain't got no raw food. So I get 15 raw food per day, and when we turn it into food rations, it doubles. That's only 30. That's not a lot at all, so I might make a second hunter's hut. We've got this nice road coming out here, so I might just follow that. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, my little my little district here. That's freezing. Oh Nicholas. Nicholas was balling it on his own then. Alright, people are really hungry, so none of them are starving though. I think it's just a matter of time. Are they full? Oh come on, we need to make another one? Right, this is the medical quadrant we've got to go in here. People are getting sick far too quick. People are hungry. I'm already on this mission, so this would be a good one to do. Uh, Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now, and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Let's feed them and stockpile some food. So I have three days to feed everyone and stockpile 55 food rations. I think that might be asking a little bit too much. But I will feed everybody. I'm addressing everything, okay? It's our little place. Cookhouse. Child shelter. Got the hunter's hut. Another hunter's hut that's under construction. Everything is not so bad. It's not so bad. So there's only one more person that's sick that doesn't have a bed. Hold on. I'll turn the. I will turn the heating on when it's finished. Do not worry. There we go. Right. We need engineers to work in the medical post. Uh, where did I stick some of the engineers? Oh, what's this? Feed more with less. Our food supplies are running low. We could stretch them if we start using more efficient meal recipes suitable for these hard times. They want me to start adding sawdust. There it is. <laughs> New recipe, sawdust meal. Uh, we can add sawdust to meals to make them more filling. Although not exactly tasty or healthy. We start feeding people sawdust. Just savages. Are we there? Are we really there, game? We're not there yet, right? Where's my engineers? Right, I've got five engineers on the wood crate. I don't need them in there. Come on. There we go. Come on, people. Oh, no. There's six people still sick. What the? I still need more. Ah! I need more! Come on, can't you come out of there? I need one of those care homes. I'm not even there yet. And I even built a sawmill. Did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Is it built? 
It is, but no one's in it. Uh, right, okay. Guys, leave the normal wood crates alone and go in the proper sawmill, would you? Alright. Raise the workplace temperature by one while there are people inside. Right, we've got actually a bit of coal, so I might do that. In fact, no one's in there yet. Let's fast forward time. I need more people for the for the hunter's hut as well. That's what I need food, because that's one of my missions. Steel? Okay. Quit it on the steel for now. Go out. Go out, guys. <laughs> First amputation. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. So I need to make a care house for him. Or prosthetics law, which is obviously craft some uh, prosthetic. Which one is it? Prosthetic. Do we know which part? Is it the leg or the arm or what? I can't do anything anyway at the minute. Oh, wait, I can. I can. I feel like I need to deal with Jake. I need to put Jake in the snow pit. Let's do it. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Snow banks for graves? Where's the dignity in that? Piling up the dead in the snow? What a disgrace. <laughs> People did not like that. People did not like that. A controversial law. An adult died. Oh. Oh, what gives them hope as well on the controversial law? Right, I feel like I need to put this, the dead bodies out somewhere respectful. Right, this actually just goes the iron ore over there. And we've got the beacon. Uh, where is it? I don't think I can make it yet. So I can the snow pit. Don't want to put it there. I can't believe I'm blocking that bit, but I'll put one of the things there. The snow pit can go... That's where the sawmill is. There's loads of uh, trees and stuff there, so... Where shall I put it? Where shall I put it? I feel like you need your own little patch of grass, Jake. What is that? Alright, this is where all the people live and then they can walk down and visit the pile of dead bodies if they want. I'm sorry. Is that on the end? <laughs> I have a feeling they're gonna be eating Jake later. I don't know why. I just why did they say preserve him for later, huh? We're running out of wood. Damn it, right. I know you're gonna hate me even more. Let's put the heater on and get you guys to work. In the sawdust. In the sawdust? In the sawmill. Come on now. Amputees. People may become amputees as a result of serious frostbite, work accidents, other mishaps, or after becoming gravely ill and being saved by radical treatment. The amputees can't work, but they still need to be housed and fed. Later in the game, you can research upgrades that will help you find solutions to this problem. So we need a care house. We do. But I'm sorry. Can't make one at the minute. Come on, our wood grind is absolutely shocking at the minute. We need to get on that. Steel's slow. People out. Come on, we need some food. The snow pit, so we need to fast forward. Let's get to the morning. That's it. Go on. Good, we good. 
Oh, hey, the frost. Did that just... The temperature rose. Oh, that's got to make everyone's spirits. Yeah, it's got to raise them a little bit. There we go. Time to get to work. Well, that's not really turned into a lot of food, has it? Feed all the hungry. Come on. Come on, get turning it into food. Yes. Right, people are going to be cold no more. We can make the steam hubs. Um, thanks to better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage, hunters setting out from the hunter's hut will return with more raw food. Yes, because that seems to uh, be a bit of a problem lately. Are you guys making it? The rods, the rods attaching it, right? Is that stopping it? Oh, come on, that was right there. Someone gonna go back? Come on, we need a place for Jake. All right, so we're working that out. Right, everyone's got a place, haven't they? 14 sick. There's something that doubles my uh, medical post output. Where is it? Overcrowding. Our oh, medical facilities should be fully. Uh, there we go. The capacity of medical facilities is doubled. I need that. I need that as quickly as possible. People are going to start dying pretty quick. Oh! We've uh, got someone waiting, our little expedition. Uh, the shelter is well supplied. Yes, we sent them out to the sturdy shelter. So the shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. Uh, an advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. This is what we might get. So let's explore it. Sturdy shelter. The trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies there's a notice posted by the heavy round door to all scientists if you use any supplies remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city this means there's another city out there a signpost by the trail points to two directions london 100, uh, 1934 miles and home is 27 miles sites discovered a steel bridge 97 food guys 97 food. Oh, did we need that? Did we need that? And we also get one of those uh, little parts as well. And we needed the wood. And we needed the wood, but we need to... Yeah, so this is what my group is, my uh, expedition group have on them. So I need to send them back home. And that's when I get the resources. I don't actually get it straight away. I need them to come back, which makes sense. They've got the materials on them and stuff. I need it. Uh, come on, there is actually. Come on, I can see it. Let's go. Want to put Jake to rest? All right. I really need that food. In ten hours, we're gonna have a lot of food. Okay, I think we're in a stable position now, where we can fast forward time a little bit. Here he is. Yeah, let's go. Make the road. Snow pit established. The snow pit is ready. We can now dispose of corpses. But that doesn't mean people are more content or hopeful. Dumping our dead in the snow is nothing to be proud of. Oh well. Cheddar boy. Cheddar cheddar boy. How's it going, man? The snow pit. It's the easiest way to dispose of the dead, but you'll have to keep the heat zones away or else they'll start to rot. Bodies stored here can be used for parts. Oh. Bodies stored here can be used for parts if the organ transplants law is signed. Alright, so it's not eating or anything like that. It's not eating them guys. We're not there just yet. I thought it was I thought we was eating dead bodies over here. 
Come on, where's Jack? He's not in there. Jack! Do they have to take him from the workshop? You're not carrying Jack, are you? He's not in there, where is he? Oh, I don't want to miss him. Hunter's gear, yes! Alright. So, I think our food situation is going to be fine in five hours anyway, because we're going to get a big surplus of food. Um, if the scout team dies, do you lose all their resources they found? Good question. I don't think they can die yet. I hope not. Hasn't happened to me yet. Right. Put people in there. What's wrong with this? Okay. That's fine. Oh. Lottie die alone in this world. Is Jake on there? I think Jake's on there. Body count. Be gentle with him, Lottie. Oh, he was there. Oh, Jake. You know what, buddy? If we pass this organ transplant thing, you might save lives, you know? You might save lives. Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature. Wait a minute. You'll have to start heating one home, uh, one cold home within two days. You know what? I'm going to heat three homes because I've got those steam lamp things, those little mini generators. So I'm going to heat all the homes. I'm setting myself a big task here, but it's not really because all I do is go to Steam Hub and stick that right, well I can move it like there if I want to build some more, which I probably might do. So I might put it on the most extreme, in fact, that's good, a little bit of an overlap. Stick that in the middle there, and I think that might be the homes that are called. Is the cookhouse? How is that called? I think it's just closed. That's why the heating's not on. But these are the ones that are called, so I'm going to heat all these in one uh, fell swoop. So that's good. Watch him! Watch him! Oh wait. Is that one? Oh, that's a stockpile. Come on. Go yellow. Come on, come on, come on. Are you building it? Is it the wrong time of day? I think it is. Oh, no, it's not. You are doing it. Oh. Toasty. And that melts all the snow in the area. How cool is that? You can see the snow starting to melt. Scouts. Oh, and we just got the influx of food. Guys, things are happening. Things are happening. Okay, you can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into the frostland. Send them back out, man. My wrecking team. Oh, this looks so cool. Hell yeah. All right. So, maintain at least livable living conditions in homes. We just did that. It needs to last for one day and 22 hours. So, although that's ticked now, guys, if I turn that off, I will lose that. That's what happened to me before. So, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I still need more medical bears. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind, never mind. I've got it side. We, uh... Overcrowding, this is going to double the capacity of all medical facilities. Yes, please. Hear me, hear me. No oh. law in the city. Our sick will be crammed like in a poorhouse. If the ill have somewhere to lie, they have a chance to recover. Also, it's took two people who have different points of view there. That's cool. What's wrong with this? What is wrong? 
Storage near capacity. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, wow. We got some uh, crazy amount of wood there. Right. I'm just going to shut that off totally. I could build a storage place, but I feel like I should focus on some other stuff like some steel. Uh, we've got seven more people left. What's this? That's coal. Coal's actually doing pretty good. Uh, and you can get that steel as well. What's wrong with this? Research goal not set. Really? We just... Oh, we think we got the hunter's gear. I think we got that quite a long time ago. I'm, I should have researched some. Uh, don't really need that yet. You know what, guys? I think we're ready for the second layer of the tech tree. Yeah. Let's do it. I love the music. That's crazy, right? I didn't even pay attention to that. Actually looks cozy. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Today was the hottest day of the year so far in England. Well, it depends where you are in England. And now I'm playing a, a cold game. It's strange. Right, I need everyone to... Uh, I need an engineer from somewhere. Let me get an engineer. Where are you all? I've got three in there, have I? I think that might take care of this one. No? Claire? Come on, Claire. You, there's a space fire. Ten. Ten. Oh, ten. Oh, there we go. She's gone. She's in there. She's in there. Right, and just people are uh, hungry now. Which, wow, my food went down pretty quick. Right, let's send these guys out. Let's see what we can look at. The observatory. The crash site. I, think, I feel like I want more people now. Alright, steel bridge. Uh, several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. This peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory. There's smoke over there. Okay. I want people. I want people. Uh, click that. There we go. How long is that going to take? 14 hours. Not bad. Alright. Uh, we've got no people working in the sawmill. That's okay because we've got loads of wood. Uh, 115 people, everything's good. We've only lost one person so far. We lost Jake. Alright, people are still hungry. Oh, in fact, we've got the food, but people, they're not converting it into rations, so I might just take a couple of people from the steel here. Put them on there. Where's that going? It's because no one's working. Alright. We're getting to 8 o'clock. Everything's good. Work Everything's time. good. Get back to work. How long's left on this? Ah, oh, still quite a while. One day, nine hours. There we go. We just fed everybody. The hungry were fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal or are somewhat satisfied for the time being. Hope rises. Alright. So we still need to find other settlements and we still need to maintain this uh, warm area here which is okay as long as we've got the coal which we have. Right, let's carry on. Um, I don't think I can make anything else. 73 food rations, that's pretty good. Gather your tools. The shift is ending. That was a quick day. Scouts have reached the observatory. Right. Uh, something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. The sun is dimming. 
Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explain that they came here for help but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. And we found a site from here called the Gloomy Cave. So we can either escort the survivors to the city, send the survivors, or leave them. But we always escort them. Just so we make sure we get the four children, the 18 engineers. Let's go. So we're escorting them back. That's going to take seven hours. Alright, so... I can make another... In fact, when I get these people back, I might make another search party. If I can. Alright, then my little hunters, yep. God, guys, I think that's different parties going different, yep. One of the hunting parties going that way. And one's going that way, it's just because we've got two huts here. 13 hours left. Oh, we're going... Oh, that's... Yep. Okay. Let's slow down on the steel for now. Let's just put our coal production up a little bit. We've only got 17 there. Oh, no. That's, that's crates. We don't need wood much anymore. Alright. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's 15 people on it. Oh, they're coming from here. I was looking for their snow trail. Alright, that's got people on it then. Let's get six on there. Uh, what else can we stop? There we go. I might research these Where, let's have a look, let's have a look is it on the next tree, it is yeah, coal mining it's on the next tech tree or the tech layer so we'll search coal mining next and then we stick them in the middle of here in the coal deposits and then it's gold gravy baby oh where are they yo where are they hunting They have gone far. Yeah, I need five more workers and I'm going to make another scouting group. Alright, everything good? Everything good? Alright, should we f just making sure? Alright, let's fast forward. Two hours till we get some more survivors. Uh. You can disband the scouts at the beacon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we've got a lot of new people. Right. I need them to go and get some coal because it's shooting right down now. Go there. Uh, guess go and get that one as well. I've had to put all engineers on that. Alright, what's this? Oh, oh, the hunting party's coming back. Whoa. Oh, no, it's not. Is it? They're all going to the coal pile. Oh, they're the people who just come in. Ah. Welcome, guys. Dan, Natalie, Martha. Welcome. So, now that my party's back here... Oh, I did actually say I was going to make another scouting group. But we'll send... What's the crash site? The gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance visible on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke coming from it, but it's gone now. Alright, I think I need materials, right? The crash site. Several wrecked vehicles. No signs of life. Yeah, we'll send one to there. And then I want to make another... Oh, wait. Oh, damn it, this building can't support another expedition. Oh, what? Oh, never mind then. Do I need to make a second beacon? Or I can't even make a second beacon. I think it's because this is 
the actual story missions of the game. So I guess it makes sense because I could probably send five uh, parties out to five different locations and just speed up the game really quick. So I guess that makes sense why they wouldn't allow me to do that. Still only lost one person. Uh, this needs to hurry up. Um, you know what? I wonder. I want to see if this helps by making another workshop. Will it double my output? I've got the engineers now. Let's see. Let's do this. Alright, we have now got the second layer of the tech tree, so, oh, don't need that, let's research coal mining, actually takes a steam car, which we have, we have two of them, where shall I put the coal mining thing in the future, there's a good place. Alright. Oh yeah, we need a new new place. Got a lot more people now. It's alright, because we've already got our little uh, district over here that is going to be all nice and warm. That's two more houses right there. Seven hours left. But uh, it's not so bad. Coal mining. One hour. Oh wow. Okay. I thought that was actually done, but there's a little bit there. No time at all then. And done. Right, we have to be careful now. Which one do we want to do? Jake. Jake, Jake, Jake. Organ transplant. We could use the body parts for our deceased to save lives and accelerate healing. This way the dead can continue to contribute into the survival of our city. We've got to do it. I, f I feel like I know Jake, you know, I feel like he wants to, he wants to save people. Listen body parts everyone. taken from the dead will be used to help treat the sick. I'm not going to see anyone go over there and, like, hack him up or anything, am I? I wonder if someone will come out and get him <laughs> and take him back. Oh. He's still helping people. Right, here we go. Where's my engineers? Right. Does that make a difference? I don't need to heat that up, do I, anymore? In fact, I will do. We've just, I just saw the surplus, and then we're actually doing alright now. I'll heat that one up as well. Our research building count! Two! Research rate, 130%. Alright. Oh, it does make a difference. Let's go. I might get a couple of those research things, then. Um, Who have we got? Just normal workers now. Wait a minute, that's not attached to a road. Are you kidding? It's not. Oh, that's going to annoy me. We have to get rid of that. Yeah, just dismantle it. No, yeah, right first time. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm not building a road just for that. <laughs> there we go. I thought I put it right to the edge. Unless I can't. I should be able to. Yeah, dismantle that, please. It's not too much trouble. Right. Everything's good. Food's okay. 
Right, they're going to be homeless, but that's 10. Is that 5 people? I think that's... Yeah, it's 10 people, so all those 9 people who are homeless can go in there. Right, let's speed it up. There we go. No homeless. Look at how... This is good. Who did I ignore? Who did I ignore? <gasps> Corpse disposal. Woman in despair. A woman is sitting in the snow pit holding her head, her dead husband's hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps you should have uh, agreed to give people proper burials after all. Oh, Jake, I actually know his name, lady. I actually know his name. I actually care about him. Make an exception and bury him. I just... I, think, I feel like I did what I had to do. I feel like Jake wants, wants part of him to live on, you know. What is this game doing to me? I did what I had to do, lady, I'm sorry. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Right, let me put this better on here. There we go. Oh. That's better. That was like an OCD person's nightmare right there. Just putting a road like that. <laughs> Hopefully that is on. Alright. Whoa. The workshop's going off. Oh, a nice little cluster in the districts there. This is the hunting and the food and then the storage. Oh no. There's the storage. That's the child shelter. Actually, this is really good, guys. I'm doing really well here. Go on, then we'll get some more steel. And I think we're ready for some more wood output. Maybe stick a couple of people in there. Wow. I haven't even got my coal mining yet. We are cooking with gas. Yeah, well, we can say we're cooking with gas, but we're cooking with coal. <laughs> Let's go. Coal mining researched. All right. Jake's wife is crazy. He was too good for her. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. No, she seems like a good woman. She's, she's just in pain. Right, I really feel like I need to get on this medical post grind. Steel okay. wreckage depleted. It's off time. All right. Let's get everyone off all these and build this uh, coal mine. Oh, wow. One there or one there. I thought I might be able to put it. Can I put it in the middle and get them both? <laughs> Alright, let's get this as closer. Alright. There we go, so I'm going to put something there. That's out to the coal mine. A word of advice. Steam cores. We have just used our first steam car. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cars in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. I see. Right, let's get people on the uh, the coal grind. Still not done that yet. Keep the homes warm. I feel like that might be a little bit too long on the, the time for that. I did that ages ago, but it's not set in yet. And um, where was you going again? Are oh, you going to the crash site? Okay. And we need to pick our next thing. Uh, Charcoal kiln uses intense heat to char up the wood, producing 200 and wow, 10 coal. Wall drill, steel works. Steel's actually going pretty good. Mosk. Oh, yes, maybe you can then. Allow us to deploy an additional scout team. 
Wow, so that's going to speed up all my gathering. I feel like that's going to be amazing. Everyone's warm at the minute, actually. Things are going pretty good. Since I can make these steam hubs, I can heat anywhere, so I'm not really bothered about... Obviously, uh, you know the steam generator? It's only one layer at the minute. It keeps on spreading out in a circle pattern, but that's not so bad. I feel like I want more scouting. It's exciting finding all these new locations. But we've got 25 people now that we need uh, to use, because I think the coal deposits have been used up. Uh, actually, the wood's gone down a little bit, so we'll put people in there. Um, that's the wood. Oh, that's a tiny bit of wood. Oh, there's only 17 left in there. There we go. Uh, what else? Move that steel so I can build around here. That's a good ratio. That is what I like to see. Alright. How close are we? Not too far. Everything's going smoothly. Still only old Jake. <laughs> Jake for zombie president. <laughs> good old Jake. Right, should we fast forward time? I feel like we're in a good position. Promise fulfilled. You promised people warmth. You delivered. I delivered it like two days ago. But thank you. And our hope just rose a little bit. The unpopular decision, I think that's from uh, the organ transplant thing. But it's only a temporary one. I can actually afford to make them work 24 hours, but I'm not going to rock the boat. Last time I did that, I killed somebody. All right. Let's just uh, fast forward time. The hunters are going out right now. In fact, they'll all be out. They should be coming back soon. Here we go. Scouts have reached the crash site. Let's see what we got. That's where our expedition was split up when our vehicle crashed during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. Raw food and wood. Oh, yes, please. Uh, fate of the Forgotten. There is plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of of our expedition, searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks. We found the bodies. Oh, they're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find a least bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Oh. Okay. Just take the resources. I mean, it's not a lot. That is not a lot at all, so I don't think I'm going to send them back. Just carry on, guys. Steel bridge. That's head on to the gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance visible on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke coming from here. There's got to be people there, man. Find the people and bring them back. All right. Okay, everything's good. Everything's good. Let's go. That is researching, right? Oh no, because it's, uh, it's night time, whatever. People are going to be doing it. Overcrowded medical facilities. That's the first problem that we've just seen then. Let's have a look. Right, so I'll just play it normally. Overcrowded. I think it's because I need these care homes. The people who have who the, uh, like the amputees and stuff, they need to go somewhere. All right. Um, I've actually got a nice layer here. I'm building two more. I think, yeah, one more ring it'll nicely just do all this, won't it? Someone says then it gets to minus 60. Okay, rotating snot. I'm on it, man. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, it's not on. Oh, don't tell me I've just... They are, oh, they are close, are they? It's just they need a road. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Hopefully that's your road. They didn't have roads on, though, did they? 
That's not attached to a road. Where is it? No, I'm going to act this all the way around if I can. Yeah, and that's going all the way around. There we go. Of all the medical places you want. Why are they working in there? Oh, so it's... Here we go. Going to get to 8 o'clock? There we go. Now we're working. Moon. Time to get to work. Yep, yeah, get to work, chief. Alright. Everything's swimmingly. I think we can fast forward time. Oh, I've got one person who's not working. Okay. I think something might have just depleted here. Oh, no. Oh, no one's in the coal mine. What? That's a... That's a hundred thousand. No way. Alright guys, you just like mine that nice and slow if you want. There's 260 there. Five of you. Right. Rest get in there. Wow. Okay, we're we're cooking, man. We are cooking. <laughs> Uh, everything's good. Oh, oh the engineers. All right, I'll steal the engineers. Uh, all my engineers are in that one. There we go. Right. I don't want to hear anything about people being ill for a while, okay? And I will get on with the care home very soon. Some amputees can go somewhere and, and it says they use half rations as well which is pretty good. That coal mine is an absolute boss. And I've got my sawmill over there. I kind of like how they're spread out a little bit. And then I should have... Can I make a steel one over here? There's coal. I think my... Yeah. My iron one's there. Build a steelwork so... Coal, steel, sawmill. It's all looking very clean. I can build my scouts, uh, second scout party soon. Right, let's fast forward a little. More scouts researched. My food's still not great. Hmm. Uh, food. Oh, medical post upgrade. A bunkhouse. A dwelling for ten people that is adequately protected from the weather. The hothouse. A few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food per day. That is mega. That's 60 food. Oh. But that's why. That is why it takes one of my steam cars. I think that's, yep. Yeah. Is that my last one? This food thing's becoming a problem though. Uh, the generator power? The generator range. Alright, let's work on the range, because it's going to get really cold soon. Let's work on that. So then that's going to cover all these. And then I can start... I think I've got some of these on. Yeah, I can start turning these heaters off. That's all taking some coal. Alright. All good, all good. More scouts researched. Oh yeah, let's get on that. Let's create a new pie. What's over here? The gloomy cave, is that where they're going? Alright. 
Uh, that one? Go to the steel bridge. One day, seven hours. Okay. Two scout parties. Let's go. Uh, I guess work on there. Engineers. Work on that. Everything good. Let's uh, speed up time. Sawmills. Got, still got quite a lot. Work day ends. It's time off. All right. I'm not going to work any of you over the 24 hours. Oh, okay. Found the gloomy cave. Oh, this cave is or was inhabited. There are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check if there's still someone alive up there. Of course, explore. Beset by beasts. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. Uh, when we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Oh, this is where I'm going to risk a party. So I can... The bears will kill the survivors if I leave them alone. Risk attacking the bears. People in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to our city if they survive. Got to risk attacking 18 engineers. Oh, right, 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 right. Go on, smack the bear in the nose. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave joined them and together they drove the beasts away. Then they all set out towards our city. Oh, I thought my guys were bear food. Not gonna lie, I thought we were bear food. Alright, that paid off. Alright. Is all my hunters coming back? Yep. Yeah. I feel like I need to do something about my food situation. It's gonna drop. Yeah, I'm gonna make that uh, that thing that takes a steam car, guys. I can't remember what it's called, but it's to do with food. The hot house. A few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food. Okay. My, look at that. No discontent. Wow. I'm handling this perfectly, I feel. You know, we've had some uh, pretty tough decisions, but everything seems to be going fine so far. Is there anything I can... Oh, how long's that been there? Oh, it's an hour. It's an hour, an hour, until we can do it. Okay. Let's fast forward time for an hour. Oh, there you go. Done. Right. Where's my food one? That's there. Organic f Oh, don't tell me I'm going to spread Jake over the food or something. Oh, no. No, Jake. Life springs from death. The dead will give us their last gift. Their bodies will be used to fertilize the soil in hothouses. God damn. Animals. Life springs from death. Nah, mate. Not, not yet. I'm not ready for that. Right, you know what? I think, actually, because I built those last two medical outposts, medical posts, I don't think I need the care house yet for the amputees. Look at him with his hand missing. Triage. I've got to start working on my food, because that's the only thing that's on zero. Extend the work day by 14 hours, but you know what? I think I'm going to put sawdust in the food. Can we have it be soup? We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Eh. Sawdust meal. Some people eating sawdust meals will fall ill. Okay, I don't want. And eating soup will cause discontent, which I don't mind. 
I'd rather him have a little bit of discontent than be ill because my discontent is at like zero at the minute. Alright guys. I was going to feed you sawdust, but you managed to survive that somehow. You're having soup. New law. A new law has passed. You are now eating soup. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, discontent's gone up a little bit. That's just from the soup. Alright. I hate soup. Wait the second. I hate soup. All my life it's been something. Anything to calm the growling stomach, just like in London. See, some people are a glass half full. They really are. Um. Okay. Where are we going next? Just fast forward. As long as the discontent didn't go up anymore. Ugh. Jake just keeps on giving. I oh, know, man. It's just it's one dead body, though. I mean, I'm hoping not to get that many dead bodies, so I don't really want to use them as fertilizer. Although it is giving back, I guess. Alright. Are we just ready to keep on going? It's going to get really cold. But let's do it. I think I'm about... Yeah, the generator's going to get an upgrade soon. Here we go. No! Oh! oh, damn. There you go. Medical facilities. Everything is on. Yep. We're still good. It's fallen, but we're still alive. <laughs> All right, guys. I feel like this is a perfect time to end the episode. Hope you have enjoyed Frostpunk. Let me know what you think to it in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I think I'm going to be playing this game again because it is so much fun. Obviously, I'm going to save my uh, progress at the minute. Uh, so yeah, guys. Oh, I think the sound's just gone off, but that's okay. Put it on there. Oh, that's not right. That's messing up. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed Frostpunk. Let me know what you think to it in the comments down below. And yeah, massive thank you to people who have joined me. Hope you are enjoying it. And Jake, rest in peace, man. Oh, remember, guys, if you do want to buy this game, link is in the description down below. There's going to be two more scenarios. So this is what I'm playing at the minute. It's called A New Home. But there's going to be two more when it's released, uh, fully released in a couple of days. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.